105. You are not my verses, this Quran recited to you, and then you used to deny them. Uh oh, I think that's us. You don't deny you don't deny Quran just like like Kafir or Kafir say I don't believe the Quran. No, I know the ayah of riba is haram, but still I'm going I'm going after class to the bank to sign the check. That's denial. Sheikh, I know not wearing properly is haram, but I'm still going to show my hair, my legs. <coughs> yes, my sisters. We that is. Alam taku Allah will ask you, Yom al Qiyamah. Alam taku ayati to tla alaykum. Were not my verses, the Quran recited to you? Yet you were doing what? You were denying. You deny that riba is haram. You went to the bank and borrowed money to buy a new car. As if your car, it doesn't work. Why? Because everybody has new car share 2018. Especially number eight. Number eight means in Chinese life or success. So that's why you are. Well, you had a nice car. It was working. All right, if you want to buy one cash with your own halal money, go ahead. Provided you need it, not you want it. The ayah of uh, obedience to Allah and His Messenger, the ayah of being nice to your husbands, the ayah of the why you were not doing them. So it's not denying like Quran Kafir. The Muslims also deny the Quran. Where is jihad? Where is jihad? Show me. When they are bombing us like crazy in Iraq, Palestine, Yemen, and Muslims still. You got it? That's the point. We deny by not practicing. The kuffar deny totally. So there is partial denial and there is complete denial. The kuffar deny the Quran. We don't want to listen to you, O Muhammad. We are saying, no, I love Sheikh so and so when he's reading. He makes me feel so good. But okay, sister, do you know what I am, what I mean? Yes, I know Sheikh, but I'm not going to practice it. It is the fact. May Allah have mercy on us. We're not, so, this ayah came in Surat and Mu'minun. The true believers listen to the Quran and practice. Refinance, sisters, quickly. If you have anything, my sincere advice to you, do not die with uh, riba. Do not die even with loan. Halal loan, halal loan. Loan, loan, halal. Don't die with them. Pay back. Pay back quickly. Let the loan riba. Oh my God. Major sin. I tell you why riba <coughs> is not, people don't pay attention to it. Because, look, number one, it's it no no it's related to something you love so much money. Allah said, "What hibun al mal hubban jamma in Surah Al Fajr." And you love money so much. This is the nature of humans. Second, you don't feel like you are sinning. It's not like zina. It's not like stealing. It's not like killing. It, it, it's it's like. Yeah no no it's like. You are breathing CO2 and you don't pay attention. You are breathing gas. There is gas in, 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 in the kitchen, and, but you are not paying attention. It will, it, you will faint and you will die eventually. That is the danger of labor. So I urge my sisters to, you know, if you have riba, go fix your life quickly. Help yourselves. Help yours. No one is going to help you. Sister Nana. She is now, look. Maybe they go visit her this morning, but, but not even see her. They can't see her body. Behind the veil, that's it. Now the veil of Tana. <coughs> Learn from her story. Allah brought her like mercy to all of us. The last day of, last days of her life, what was she wearing? Her glamorous clothes. What she was wearing? Yes. The gong of KBG. You, you want until that happened to you and you start fixing your life? 
So we need to learn. Allah is giving us rahma, reminder after you. How many reminders we gonna get? How many? Before it's too late. May Allah grant her jannah. Amen. Subhanallah. I'm sure Allah answered our dua. You know why? Because, <laughs> because when we remembered her on Sunday, it was raining. And subhanAllah, if you pay attention to the video that Sister Shamin said, when I said, Ya Allah, Ya, if you, if you decide to take her, if you decide to take her, then give her mercy. An answer from the thunder. It's like a yes, inshallah. I mean, yeah, I have no doubt. At least she found good people making dua for her. Why? If she was sitting only in her home and her moors, she would find good people like you and me making dua for her? Thank you. That's the point. So stick to the jama'ah ah and don't play games. Yes, it's recited to you. And what? So the Quran was recited to you. The Quran was in your hands. The Quran was on your applications, on your cell phones. Meaning, you could have always referred to it. And then, you used to deny them. You used to deny the ayahs. <laughs> the biggest denial of ladies, since I'm teaching sisters this morning, is you denying the hijab. Mm -hmm. Sisters, do not do that, please, for Allah's sake. You were very nice when you're coming to class. Hijab shari, Islamic, large. Outside class, you shrink. All your body shows up. What, we, what is this? Honestly, what is it? You know how demoralizing it is. But don't do it. Should Zubair might be in hero market? Should Zubair? No, don't do that. Do it. Lahi ta'ala. Where? 24 7 large. When I catch you sometime, I'm happy. Don't say, Ya Allah. Am I wasting my time? When I see, MashaAllah, sister, you make me proud. May Allah bless you. No, sisters, no, no. Okay, watch what you are wearing. Still far from the true Islamic dress. Basically having clothes, closet, I mean clothes in class and out, outside of class, it's like having a two-face. Not necessarily, not necessarily. No, not, not, not that, necessarily. Not Let me tell you. Yeah. But it's like I'm still weak. I take it like that. No problem. No. <coughs> I feel the sister still weak. But... Till when I'm weak, I should make decision lillahi ta'ala, that's it. Khalas lillahi ta'ala. I wear for God, not for people. This is who I am. Khalas. Say our Lord, our wretchedness overcame us, and we were an erring people. Uh, on the Day of Judgment, these people who did not listen to the ayahs of the Quran, when the Quran was recited, Sheikh Zubair was making tafsir, they didn't follow. They would say, Rabbana, Rabbana, our Lord, ghalabat alayna shikwatuna. Oh, Ya Allah, our wretchedness overcame us. We were really wretched people. We were, we were wrong. It, our wrongdoing, our arrogance, our... They... Our, our displeasure with your commands had overcame us, okay? And we were an erring people. We were wrong. Okay, you admitted you were wrong. What do you expect? To be forgiven? No. To admit to the core that you are wrong doesn't mean they will forgive you. Please understand that. A murderer confesses that he killed. And the punishment is <laughs> death or jail forever. Example. The judge will still sentence him. Look at the answer from Allah. Scary. Go ahead. Our Lord, bring us out of this. If ever we return to evil, then indeed we shall be zalimun. What it is? oppressors, unjust, and wrong Our Lord, bring us out of this, please. Rabbana, akhrijna minha. Akhrijna minha. Get us out of this trouble. Get us out of Jahannam. If we ever return to evil, 
then we are indeed wrongdoers. But there will not be a chance. Allah told us there will not be another chance. There is only one life. He said, be good. Obey. That's all. Look at the answer from Allah. Very scary answer. He, Allah will say, remain you in it with ignominy and speak you not to me. Allahu Akbar. Sa'u fiha. Look, look, in Arabic. Ikhsa is always with loud voice. I, said, I, I shouted, uh, some of you got scared. Yes. The answer comes this way. In Arabic, when we say, like, shut up. Diam. Oh, it, nobody will say, would you please diam? <laughs> <laughs> when someone tells you shut up, he, he is not playing games. And don't talk to me. They are forbidden to speak to His Majesty. Don't even speak. Now, oh my God, why well, we told you? Why you didn't? Why you didn't do it? Huh? It's, it's your problem. You didn't want to obey Allah. <laughs> give me another chance, give me another chance, give me another chance. There is only one chance, only one dunya. No, no more. May Allah have mercy on us. <laughs> so the answer came very strong from Allah. That's why there are some qaris when they read, they pull your heart out of your body because they know where to raise the voice, where to, huh? You, you, some ayahs, uh, you find like, you know, because you, you're, you, you're making tawbah. So they go down, you feel it. Uh, ayah of jihad, ayah of uh, anger. Ayah. So the voice changes according to the Mm -hmm. Context of the surah. Beautiful. Okay. 109. Verily, there was a party of my slaves who used to say, Our Lord, we believe so forgive us and have mercy on us. For you are the best of all to show mercy. Ah. Look what he says, His Majesty. He said, fiha. Quiet and stay there. Don't speak to me. You used to make fun. Of those who used to say, Rabbana, the believers like you and me. There was a group of my slaves who used to show respect to me by saying, Rabbana amanna, faghfir lana warhamna, wa anta khayru rahimin. Why you were not like them? Why you were not like those people? Why weren't you like Abu Bakr and Umar and Uthman and Ali and Khadija who used to say, Rabbana? Why weren't you like the people, MashaAllah, like you and me here? who were studying Qur'an and trying their best. Why? Why not? What made you deviate? And now you are in trouble in the hell, burning. You say, please, get, uh, give us one more chance. Too late. Huh? Alhamdulillah. So thank Allah, sisters, for being among the group whom Allah says in verse 109, <inaudible> Pay attention. He said, it was a group of my slaves. Do you know what the, what's the honor of Allah telling you you are mine? Yeah. No, you are mine. You belong to me. Yeah. Wow. Thank you, Ya Allah. Yeah, we belong to you, Ya Allah. You are my slaves. <coughs> You're safe now. He protects you. Because you are his. You must belong to someone, by the way, in this life. So belong to Allah. Do you think you can ever be Famous and rich like Asiya binti Muzahim, wife of Fir'aun. Do you think? She was slave of God, not slave of her husband. Her husband was evil, so she didn't care about him at all. In terms of, you know, faith. She didn't say, well, I have to work with him. He's my scion. <clears throat> no. When she realized that this man is enemy of Allah, she followed the prophet of Allah, who was baby. She raised him. She followed him. SubhanAllah, my sisters, that, uh, you think the truth will be divided? The truth is truth. And we need to bend for it, not the, bend the truth for us. <laughs> the truth, we need to bend ourselves and adapt ourselves to it, not the other way.
But you took them for a laughing stock. You were laughing at my slaves when they were praying, when they were begging me for maghfira and rahma. You were making fun of them. When the sisters were attending, mashallah, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Friday, you thought, uh, what's wrong with these ladies going to these classes? <laughs> yeah, they make fun of you. Like, you must be crazy. You must be crazy to go to four or five classes. Something wrong with you. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> Takbir. May Allah bless you. May Allah bless you. I know you are sad. Me too. Me too. But alhamdulillah, good to let these feelings go out from your heart. So, wallahi, there are people making fun of you, sisters, as you go to class. No problem. But Yom Qiyamah, Allah defends you. Look, who is speaking? Who? His Majesty. Imagine, His Majesty speaking. Oh my God, how you feel? Uh, you will see what Allah will give them. Wait a minute. So His Majesty is still defending you. He's saying, but you took them for laughing stock. So much so that they made you forget my remembrance. Meaning, your laughters, your jokes made you forget to remember me like them. They remember me while you used to laugh at them. Okay, who will laugh today? <coughs> it's us. <coughs> On the Day of Judgment, it's the Muslims who will laugh. The hadith says, look at this. The hadith says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells some kuffar, here is the gate of Jannah, go. When they go, the gate closes. He says, here is another one. Then they go, then it closes. So we, the Muslims, start laughing at them. Because it's funny. You keep going, imagine, do that, do that. Somebody, you close the door. Because you used to make fun of us in the dunya. Remember Nuh alayhi salam, when he was building the ark? His people passed by, laugh at him. He told them, today you laugh, but they will come, we laugh. When the flood started, and he put his, the believers and the animals inside the, mashallah, the, on the ark, he started laughing at them. He started laughing at the kuffar. Mashallah. We need a lot of napkins today. Take the hair. Ha, look, sisters. Tadhakun. You used to laugh at my slaves. Today, what's their reward? For their patience. They are indeed the ones that are successful. Very good. Back to the question, uh, the point of sister uh, Zaida. Sabah. Here. Look at the key. Allah gave them reward of success because of what? Patience. Very good. So have patience with your husband. Have patience with your children. Have patience with Sheikh Zubair. <laughs> Sheikh Zubair, have patience with these lazy um, women. I was going to say crazy, but I said lazy. <laughs> Sister Sakina, they are driving me nuts, these ladies. Right there. Uh, uh, yes, yes, my sister here. here. <laughs> pass, pass, pass. <laughs> yes. Okay. Sabar. So the reward of sabar is success in dunya and akhirah. In dunya and akhirah. You will win, wallahi. Dunya and akhirah. So what to do, sisters? What? What? We give up? Khalas, everybody got divorced? Mm -hmm. What to do? Very good. Do answer. Do answer. And be nice. Speak. This class come. Maybe they don't come during daytime. They come at masjid. Mm -hmm. Because also they work. You think your husband will leave his job and come to class with us on, on Tuesday? You have to also make, for example, you may bring him Wednesday class, Valencia. Mm -hmm. Example. Maybe another day, Saturday, Sunday. You plan it in a way that we attend the class and go have lunch. Something like that. And some, no matter what you do to them, they will not move from their seats. It's okay. What can we do? Yes, sister. Share another taste, um, another experience. <coughs> uh, 
Um, uh, I also had gone through uh, what. Uh, oh my God! Another round of tea but, tissue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the another thing besides sabar and uh, uh, doa, uh, sometimes you have just to a uh, lot of syukur. Yes. What your husband have give you just look at the positive side. Mm. Syukur ya Allah, syukur what my, he's not that bad. And then you doa for him, and then um, you do a lot of good. Mm. You do, do just you and you have that uh, um, 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 consider. You, you, uh, consider, uh, okay. consider yes. And are you yakin that one day uh, Allah will take, uh, will, will help you uh, as long as you do what Allah asks you? True, very true. Uh, you just continue. Yakin, yakin, yakin in Allah. Yes, yes. Continue. Inshallah. One Ameen. day. Ameen. Uh, only Allah knows when. I like that. Yeah. Beside sabar and dua, do shukr. Thank Allah for the good he has. No matter how bad your husband is, he will never be like Fir'aun. <laughs> he will not be like Fir'aun. Fir'aun is the worst guy on earth. You see what I mean? So Alhamdulillah, thank Allah. He, he may have some problems. But Inshallah, we work on it. He may have temper, he may have, uh, I don't know. But Alhamdulillah, at least he doesn't stop you from coming to class. Thank Allah for that. Huh? He might not be the dream guy you were thinking of. Your Prince Charming coming on a white horse. But what can you do? Shukur Alhamdulillah. Like that. How long did you remain on earth in number of years? Oh, another question Allah told us. Look, He already told us what He will ask us. Yawm al Qiyamah. Hey, what do you think, sisters? Sister, follow me, please. What do you think of you, students? I say, I'm going to quiz you. Next week, I'm going to quiz you. No one comes. Thank you. And you all come. And out of my generosity, I give you the questions and the answers. I give you now, for one week, questions and answers. I say, here is the exam, with questions and answers. Yet some of you will not answer, or answer falsely. What should I do with you? Rotan. Because I, look, not only I told you there is exam next week. Prepared you psychologically, informed you. I give you the questions and the answers. Allah Azza wa Jalla already giving us questions and answers. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us the questions and the answers. Even in the grave we know what are the questions, right? Yes. Sister Nana, she knew, she knew. Marrabbuki, who is your Lord? Allah. Madinuki, what's your religion? Islam. Ma nabiyuki, man nabiyuki, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Khalas, now they move to Salat and... You failed in this, you, you think they will continue with you. Punishment starts. Because the basic questions is like me asking you, what are the pillars of Islam? And you say, huh? Huh? What are the pillars of Islam? Like that day I ask, who is the father of our beloved mother, Aisha? They were just looking at me. They were just looking. Answer, Abu Bakr Siddiq Make a mistake, Omar, I correct you. But just to be quiet, what does that mean? I'm not a lion here to, to bite you. So, you have to understand how those things re resonate with the person who is dedicating his life to you. Not easy. A prophet left his people. A prophet, prophet. Am I better than Yunus, alayhi salam? He gave up on his people. He left them. So these things. Whose phone is this? MashaAllah. No problem, no problem. But this phone is takbir. <laughs> so the ayah that Sister Sakina read for us. SubhanAllah. Allah will say, What number of years did you stay on earth? So we know the question, some of the questions Allah will ask us in Qiyamah. Like the ayah 105. Go back to 105. The first ayah of today. <coughs> were, were not my verses this Quran recited to you? That's a question Allah will ask us in Qiyamah. Another question is, 
How long did you stay? We will say one day or two. The feeling, look, you are living for 60, 70, some of you, 80. Allah knows how many years we're going to live. We feel just one day or two. Yes. Sisters, yesterday you went to bed. You slept. You may have slept for eight hours. How did you feel in the morning when you got up? You just felt like I just put my head on the pillow. But that was eight hours ago. I just put my head on the pillow. Now, as salatu khayru min Yeah, that's right. <coughs> so life, yawm al qiyamah, we feel like 80, 100 years, you feel like just one night. So Allah told us this question. I am going to ask you, what number of years did you stay on earth? How many years you stayed on earth? Huh? Qalu, they say, Sister Lisa. They will say we stayed the day of Qadr the Ask of those who keep the Qadr. They feel that they felt uh, one day or part of the day. <coughs> one day or part of the day. Not even 24 hours. That's the feeling. <coughs> That's the feeling, sisters, when death comes. Sister Nana, subhanAllah, she's with us today. Nana, 56 years old. If, if she was aware before dying, if you ask her sister, that, you, you know, you are, if she says, I feel it already, my legs are cold. And if, if she spoke, how do you feel? She says, I just spent for, you know, maybe half an hour of life. Although she has two children. This is why we are blinded by life. By, by, by this dunya, my sisters. Don't let this dunya eat you. <coughs> Focus. Be strong. And sabar and shukur. Inshallah. Good. All what you said today is very good. Qala illa bithtum illa qalila. Nadia. Did you think that we had created you and created us? No. Uh, 114. <laughs> Uh, actually, you stay little than that. Little than that. If you know. You didn't stay for years. For us, years. But for Allah, few seconds. Meaning you lost this pleasure of Jannah for few. Do you know for God, our life is just seconds. Okay, here it is. 1,000 years. Nuh is one day for God. 1,000 years of life of, of uh, Nuh alayhi salam. It's one day for God. So you could have tahan one day, no sin, one day. I don't sin for one day. Yes, you can. So 1,000 years for, for Allah is one day. So 100 years, divide divide 1,000 over 24 day, uh, hours. That's, that, that's the ratio. If you live for 100 years. Now it's mercy that we don't live long. Otherwise our sins will be... Allahu Akbar. You got it, my sisters and brothers? Brothers, the jinns. They are with us, don't worry. There are good jinn, they attend class. And sometimes they get a little bit mad at you. They say, leave by our brother Sheikh Zubair. Don't give him hard time. Or we send Hantu to your kitchen. That's made by Sheikh Zubayr. Ha, you got it? So please understand. For Allah Azza wa Jal, it was few seconds of life. Few minutes. You could have tahan. Okay, you made a sin. Why did you delay tawbah? No delay tawbah. I told you, my sisters, good news. Look at it. Tell your husband and children. When you commit a sin, the angels wait for 24 hours to write it. If you make tawbah within the 24 hours, it's not written even. But we keep delaying. You have a fight with your husband, and you said something wrong, until 20, 48 hours, 72 mm -hmm. hours, one week pass, then you miss each other. Then you say sorry. You should have said well within 24 hours. The sin is written. MashaAllah, beautiful. But when you do something good, it's immediately recorded. Immediately. You say good word. You give nasiha. You care. You give sadaqah. You pray to rak'ahs. MashaAllah, it's written immediately. Sin, mm -hmm. the angel, 
Allah commands him, wait, 24 hours, give him 24 hours. If within 24 hours you repent, it's not even written. MashaAllah. Tell this to people because they need to hear this type of uh, speeches to regain hope in Allah. Because a lot of people are desperate, my sisters. They're desperate from the mercy of Allah. They despair for him. Okay. Who so, was the last so, one? Sister? So if you do good and it's written straight away, then two minutes after you show off, then it's erased. Ah, it's erased. Showing off the... <laughs> Showing off is the zero, time zero in math. Sister Ira, our Johorian sister, Takbir. Everybody's crying today. <laughs> Laughing, crying. Only shares who makes class like this. <laughs> Ya Allah, you are bringing tears to my eyes too. I'm crying too, but my way. I've been crying the whole week, if you understand my class. My wife understands me quite well. When she advises you to do something, just listen to her. Alhamdulillah, she has been patient with me for 20... How many years now? Four. Okay, listen carefully, my sisters. Do you think Allah... Allah is telling you here. Ava hasibtum. Do you think I created you in vain? In vain? And that you will not return to us? <coughs> Where is Sister Nana? Where is the mother of Sister Ira? Your, your loved ones who passed away, where are they? My parents, may Allah have mercy on them. Where are they? <coughs> That's it. This ayah will catch all of us. 115 will catch all of us. We are, look, being processed. Look, look. We are being pushed. The newborn are pushing us. The, those who come after them, to go to the grave. How soon we are, that's why I told you there is no birthday. Your birthday should be a day of contemplation, a day of pondering. Ya Allah, I am 40 something now. Meaning I'm 40 years closer, whatever your age is, closer to my grave. Who is 40 here? Raise hand. No, all of them uh, 22. Raise your hand. Raise, I want to know. 40 plus. 40, 40 plus, 40 plus. I don't want to see faces, just hands, don't worry. Okay, good, listen. Once you hit 40, there is a dua to make. Until you die, if you are smart. Every day, every day you make this dua. The dua is this. I will write it, I will write it. Rabbi awzi'ni an ashkura ni'mataka allati an'amta alayya. وعلى والدي وأن أعمل صالحا ترضاه وأصلح لي في ذريتي إني تبت إليك وإني من المسلمين. This dua actually is واجب on everyone who hit the forty forties until death. It's a dua actually very important for forty. Forty meaning you are about to die. يا الله because two third of your life passed. You go by Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Two third, not one third, not half. Uh, worship Allah through the da'wah. Good, very good. That's the purpose of life. So you think Allah created you for no reason? These heavens and earth, these planets, billions of stars for nothing. Unlimited number of gallons of water in the seas for nothing. Billions of cre creation for nothing. No. Sending prophets. Thousands of prophets were killed, slaughtered. Thousands of prophets were oppressed. Millions of human beings died, shaheed, for no reason. For no reason. There is a reason. Good. Do you also think you will not come back to us? Ah, many of our loved ones went already back to Allah. Allah. What does it mean, death? Death is what? Mm. Give me a definition of death. The end, end of life? Yeah. Good. What else? Beginning. Beginning. The return Beginning. to Allah. Oh. Death is... Uh, don't forget <laughs> this. From now on. Death, my sisters, to your sheikh, the definition is... Al-awdatu ilallah. Turja'un. Turja'un. 
you going back. From where you came? You came from death, you go back to death. Death means return to Allah. You came from Allah, you go back to Allah. I see. So Allah created you from clay. Your body goes back to clay. But the soul goes back to him because it comes from him. Now he will purify it and send it back if it's a good soul. To enter the grave questioning. Bad soul, na'udhu billah. Smells like hell. Malaika get so because they are pure. They get so annoyed. And they will curse that soul when he's coming down. Back to the grave. Before the questioning. So this is it. Alhamdulillah we know it. Because we believe in Allah and his messenger. In this ayah, it's very clear. Yalla sifr zabiha. Therefore, exalted be Allah, the ultimate sovereign, the ultimate truth. There is no good but him, the Lord of the throne of honor. Very good. Therefore, فَتَعَالَ اللَّهُ Exalted is Allah. Allah didn't create you for nothing. Because he's exalted. He doesn't do things for no reason. Sometimes you and I do things, we don't know even why we're why we doing this. No, when he does something, he's doing it for a purpose. And we know what is it. The true king, المالك الحق There is only one true king. All the kings you see are not real kings. Because simply they die. The true king never dies. Okay? Al Malikul Haq. La ilaha illahu. There is no God but him. Remember this surah is all about Iman? Here is it summarizes. It, it summarizes the whole surah with Iman back. Back to faith. Allah, your king, exalted, true king. There is no God but him. He's again. Reinforcing those concepts in our minds because we may have, we may have forgotten. Okay, good. What else? La ilaha illahu. None has the right to be worshipped but He, the Lord of the Supreme Throne. How high is your King's throne? Do you know that Allah's throne is above heavens? It's so supreme that it's even above the last sky. The last sky, seventh, and the throne of Allah is on top of it. And it's bigger than the universe. What? <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Just amazing just to... You cannot even imagine because it's something beyond imagination. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. Nastaghfirullah wa natubu ilayh. Good. 117. Sister City. And whoever invokes <coughs> or worships besides Allah, any other ilah God, of whom he has no proof, then his reckoning is only with his Lord. Surely, al kafirun the disbelievers in Allah and in, in the oneness of Allah, qualities, patterns, idolates, will not be successful. Ah, he's warning us. He said, don't commit shirk with God. Look, pay attention. He didn't say mushrik in terms of Buddhists or Hindus. No, those are already done, done deal. He's talking about the believers who do shirk. You are a Muslim, but you run to a bomo when you have trouble. Something troubles you, and you couldn't find solution with Sheikh Zubair. So you go to a bomo, slangor, kuala slangor. Shirk. You, you result to, to this one, horoscope. You remember your mother's best friend or auntie uh, in Kampung, you go tell her, read my palm. Mashallah. If she reads palms, why is she? If she knows the answer, why is she in that Kampung, old Kampung? Her house is about to fall on her. Why she doesn't improve her life? Astaghfirullah. Okay. وَمَنْ يَدْعُ مَعَ اللَّهِ إِلَهًا آخر. Look, and whoever invokes in worship beside Allah, meaning you worship Allah. But you believe in awliya. Mm -hmm. Habib Noah. Yeah. <coughs> Habib Habib. Careful, that's our shirk. That's our shirk to the Muslims. You believe that uh, Sayyidina Hussein radiallahu anhu in uh, Iraq, his, his grave is uh, holier than uh, Astaghfirullah, Mecca. Astaghfirullah, what shirk we do. Careful, my sisters. So, he whoever invokes in worship, Beside Allah, any other ilah, 
if you believe that there is another God beside Allah, or, or you don't believe there is God, but you have hope in this type of uh, so-called awliya, and habib, habib. Look what Allah said. Then his reckoning is only with Allah. Surely al-kafirun, he considered kafir, are losers. Will not succeed. So careful, Messiah says, our shirk is not shirk of the pagans, but shirk in ibadah, like showing off. While we are worshipping Allah, you know, we... You got it? Last ayah, MashaAllah. Sister Zaida. So say, O oh my Lord, grant your forgiveness and mercy for those who are the best of those who show mercy. Alhamdulillah. Well, he won't ask from shirk. So that no one says, I didn't see it. I lost it. You know, when you when the surah was too long. Sheikh Zubair, you took two, three months in explaining the surah. So that's why I got lost. At the end, the surah ends with this. Don't do shirk. If you do, you are a loser. Then he said, if you are mu'min, there is rahmah. Alhamdulillah. And say, O oh Muhammad, and say you Muslims who follow Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, my Lord, dua, Rabbana, Rabbi, my Lord, forgive and have mercy. Please forgive and have mercy. For you are the best of those who show mercy. What do you think you would say when death comes? What do you think you would say? This dua. When, if you are alhamdulillah aware and you are a good Muslim, you will say this dua. Rabbi ghfir wahamu anta khairul rahim. If there is any prayer, this is the prayer. You will not say, Ya Allah, uh, look after my children. No. Don't worry, your children are looked after. Like Allah looked after you, He will look after your kids. Don't worry. They will live their life. But if there is a second before you die and you remember any dua, please make this dua. Rabbi ghfir warham wa anta khairul rahimin. Allah, my Lord, have mercy, uh, have forgiveness on me and have mercy on me. You are the best of the merciful. May Allah have mercy on all of us, my sisters. May Allah forgive our sins, have mercy on us, and make us good Muslims. Amen.